Hi everyone, I hope you are. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into XLP once again. Thank you for support. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. So, I got stopped out of my trade because we fell through the one fib. And like I said to you, if you fall through the one fib, you've got a lovely little short opportunity coming down to the one six one eight. So that was beautiful, just there. Got stopped out, and then you know I've met the TP on the one six one eight of this reversal wave that you've just put in as well. Okay, so that's amazing. So right now XLP has found support on the one six one eight just here. Okay, because we we come up in this little rising wedge into the four hourly twenty, and then we lost it and we was retracing, and then we. Had that sort of big big massive reversal wave coming into play so you can see at the moment on the four hourly we're doing exactly what we did here we are rolling to the 20 again so we do need to see ourselves get back above that because if we don't you just pretty much mirror the same scenario where you're going to lose this low and you're putting a new impulsive break to the downside so i'm going to show you that right now you've got key resistance here okay you are falling back to support we're going to try and find that in a moment but one thing that could give the game away here to break in this eye and putting this beautiful impulsive break okay because it's what you're doing you've come down off this reversal wave and right now you're beginning to retrace to this high that's how it all works you know down trends you come up and down up trends you go up and down so at the minute on the four hourly time frame you are in a downtrend you see that you're making a series of lower highs and uh, lower lows basically so you're coming down so we do need to find the floor here in the bottom and potentially this could be it because we've come down to the 1618 we've come up impulsively ran into resistance so right now you begin to retrace again to this low at that point if you can hold it and start to come back up you're starting to break out of this downwards market structure and you start to come back up and attack this high okay it's all about getting through that high right now now, that's your key resistance and this is your key support lose support you're going to go down break resistance you're going to go up okay that's how it will work support and resistance impulsive and corrective waves so this is actually quite nice this little bit of an uptick there okay you, you're sort of coiling up here providing you can hold support which i'm going to show you in a moment and get back through the emas because you see look at the gap there you're getting a big gap on the emas right there if you can start to get back through these emas back to and hold support hold that higher support boom you're going to get a retracement here and with that this correction could actually be over for xrp okay because for me it's all about this low this is the most important low for xrp i think i do think look look how close you are to this low okay there is actually one impulsive wave here which if you did start to come down i think you might not come as low as that if you was to lose this low i'm going to show you all the targets in a moment you know i wish i conclusively say to you look your correction's done you're going to put a w bottom in here you're going to break out and that's it you're going to start to come up attack that high you take that out that high you're on that level of resistance right there you break that resistance and boom you've got your low okay and you, you've come down and this was your low in this correction just there after this summer lows you know and this is actually a higher low which is you know technically bullish you've got a, a low and a higher low you know so this is technically bullish coiling up in some kind of some horizontal over you know almost a year now coiling up looking for some kind of impulsive break to the upside you know there's no guarantees that it's going to go up and there's no guarantees that it's going to go down it's all about support and resistance so right now for xrp this is still technically bullish okay because like i said to you i do think that xrp has had five waves down in this in this correction just there let, let me show you okay so i think that potentially the correction is in uh, given the wave structure because i think you've come down in five waves this is your you you your wave high just there look you've come down in one two three look at the large third wave push down okay the third's always the largest wave you come up back in a full retracement and then boom you've had your fifth wave down so you've got a, an impulsive wave down so right now you're looking to come up to retrace to these highs so it's all about this retracement because if this is an impulsive wave down right now you're in a corrective wave up do you understand that so if you start to come up and break these highs amazing your correction's done but if you start to come up and roll and take out that low that's bearish that's bear market structure and potentially this is the top of the bull run for xrp and just there you're rolling into the bear market do you understand that so this is what i always teach you on the space it's a game of probabilities there's no guarantees there's no looking glass it's all about support and resistance but right now this is your key level of support and that is your key level of resistance you break that boom you're looking at 450 you lose that you're looking at four, 37 cents i think it is or 27 cents because you've got an impulsive break to the downside so that's basically it you know i do think you've come down this five impulsive waves but what you're doing here is technically bullish for xlp because you've come up impulsively you make that one six one eight like a boss you were tracing and you're coiling up in the apex of this huge huge horizontal for almost a year now looking to break now one thing that could be negative here for xlp which we do need to see the prevent of is this death cross on the weekly time frame if xrp starts to print that that is quite negative because historical data shows us that that is confirmation of a bear market on the weekly time frame that is not good on any of your projects that you're looking at okay now xrp is not formed it yet bitcoin's not formed it yet does it mean it's going to form it of course it doesn't there's no guarantees it's getting pretty close but right now 
come up impulsively, correctively. If we're holding these lows, look at the wick at the bottom on the weekly, which shows strength. If right now that this correction is done and this is your low right now, you're starting to come up to this high here. Okay, trying to re-attack that. And at that point, you know, you've got an impulsive break, correction, impulsive break, correction, impulsive break, and you're up there. Okay, where well, you might put in another correction and then you're gone again, basically. So there's you know, it's all the support and resistance, it's all price action, there's no guarantees. Uh, so you know, a lot of people say, How come you've got four dollar fifty target as a minimal target? And I have gone through this multiple times with people, and I'll show you right now for those that are new to the channel and they don't know what I'm talking about, you know, I've met two 1618 targets and I've got one third 1618 target left as a bare minimal but I think this scenario here this could actually be a very very bullish scenario for XRP because it's breaking the all-time high it's not in this chart it's a different chart but at this point here where you meet this impulsive 1618 target of this wave that's coming up I do think at that point you could actually you know start to go parabolic here for XRP and go beyond that and go to some of these price forecasts that I've got in the channel okay we've got I think we've got like eight dollars thirteen dollars and twenty seven dollars okay so it could actually get to that because at this point this particular impulsive break off this low which you're going through right now okay this level of consolidation before coming up and breaking this eye if you know I always say if it is a bit gift there's no guarantees okay if it comes up there fantastic meets it amazing that is parabola because I do think you, you're breaking your time high and you're going to come up here and you might go beyond the 1618 so you know why is that my target and I'll show you right now straight off the bat why that's my target you can see here uh, this corona dump just here okay last March uh, I say last March I mean March 2020 when everyone really fearful we had that big big capitulation there for XRP you drop your fib on that okay and that's your high and what you're doing in this instance you're retracing to this high okay once you take out that high you can see this retracement didn't quite get there once you take out that high what you do you came up and you broke the high okay so this is an impulsive wave this is an impulsive break it didn't feel like it but what you did when you came down here all this you know correction series of high highs and lows you actually eventually come up and met that 1618 target and then at that point you ran into this 1618 target and you began to retrace to this low because this is your impulsive break and right now this is a corrective phase of a bull market abc correction big whop and abc down to this low okay and right now you came back up like this and you were tracing this high ran into resistance came back to the amaze and what did you do eventually you broke this high and put in another 1618 target so you met one two 1618 targets okay and we're looking for this third target right now i'm telling you you've come down to this low so this is the low right now this is your low this is your big big low and right now this is still technically bullish coming back to support in a higher low looking to hold this low if you hold this low and start to come back up you're going to be in a minimal 1618 target to four dollars fifty using the fibs here okay so look let me show you from there that low to that high look at that met on the absolute dollar look at that boom because you broke that high you came down you retraced to this high and when you did where did you go to 1618 and what happened you began to retrace again a deep deep correction to this low okay you came down you held it support and at that point you know i was telling everybody on the channel i'm making videos when xrp were round about here okay which is when when i pretty much started the channel i was saying to you look xrp is looking for the 1618 i got trolls i got people saying you don't know what you're talking about and all that crap you know but eventually it did and i'll show you look you came up and boom look at that 1618 target met to the dollar and the cent 195 round about that area you know and people are in disbelief and i said at that point take some profit off the table because xrp will begin to come in for retracement and that's exactly what it's doing right now okay it's coming in for retracement okay and coiling up in a horizontal just like that retracement okay coming back to this low you're coming right back now this retracement here is coming back to this low so in actual fact xrp could do something like this come all the way down without losing that low and still eventually get to that target do you see that so yeah we're hoping that these lows hold obviously but there's no guarantees like i've always shown you but that is what's going on that's what xrp is doing so technically it's hard to imagine but this is bullish market structure it's bull market structure do you understand people say we're in a bear market there's no confirmation of a bear market yet do you understand that so for me i still think that xrp is coiling up in a consolidation pattern over a long period of time looking for the impulsive break toward that minimal 1618 target right there okay because look let me show you 
uh, just there. That's your 1618 target. I don't know if I've just shown you, to be honest with you. So look, boom, that's it. 1618, bare minimal. But like I said to you, I think at that point, if XRP starts to come up and breaks these key levels of resistance, these could be precursors to the fact that you're going to take out that high because you're breaking out this key level resistance on the weekly, closing above this key level of resistance that you failed to close above. I do think that once you start to do that, that in itself is a huge, huge signal that you're breaking out of this huge horizontal, okay, which is consolidation pattern, looking to come up to the 1618 at a bare minimal. But that instance, this breaks the all-time high, which is where you could start to go parabolic here for XRP and actually up to the 214 you know and at that point you know i've got on the thumbnails the road to 27 dollars because i do think xrp will be at 27 dollars you know how long who knows but this is what we're looking for in this instance just here is some kind of beautiful impulsive break to the 1618 at a bare minimal at four dollars fifty around about that area so yeah that's basically xrp hope you enjoyed that update but it's all about support and resistance isn't it take care everyone back soon with another update on xrp stay healthy stay strong stay tuned bye bye